Hey, it's James Taylor here. I was speaking at a conference the other day. I was giving the keynote address at this conference and at the end it was a Q&A session. And in that Q&A session, a woman asked a question, is creativity something that we're born with or is it something that we develop? It's a great question. It's really the nature versus nurture question of creativity. And my, my kind of answer to her was that most of the studies have really shown it's more about nurture than it is nature. You see, we all need a certain level of creativity to be intelligent. You do need this kind of base level of intelligence to be creative. However, the more intelligence that someone is after that, doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna be more creative. In fact, there's a thing called the intelligence trap, where sometimes the most intelligent people can be the least creative because they fall into these little mental traps of not looking at alternatives, not really developing this thinking skill, this creative thinking skill, because their intelligence, their natural intelligence, subsumes it. So when thinking about this, what's the relationship between intelligence and creativity? I often relate it to a computer. You know, intelligence is just potential creativity. A computer has potential. The most powerful computer in the world is still just potential unless you actually do something with it. You need an operating system, some software, some apps to make the thing actually run. Otherwise, it's just a big block of metal with some wires in it. When we think about that in relation to our creativity, the, the main thing we have to start to develop is our own abilities as a creative thinker to develop our creative thinking skills. That's what we teach at C-School. We teach the ability to really improve that software that we have in our heads, because it doesn't matter how intelligent you are, the biggest computer, the most fanciest brain in the world, unless you have ways of analyzing and thinking and really delving into problems from a creative perspective, it doesn't matter how intelligent you are. So hopefully that's explained that nurture v nature is much more in the camp of nurture than it is nature. If you head on along to C School, you can find out more about our courses on creative thinking and creative development. Hi, it's James here. Did you enjoy that episode? If so, there's two things that we can do to continue the journey together. Firstly, I would love if you were to subscribe, give us five stars and leave a comment. Secondly, if you go to jamestaylor.me and enter your name and email address, I'm going to send you some free goodies all around creativity and innovation. Look forward to continuing the journey together.